Hello everyone, this is Emma and welcome to my video course Piano Well. This is lesson number 9 and we are working with my training book which is downloaded for free on my website artifiancyclinic.com uh, You can download uh, other Piano Well books there and the link is uh, as usually uh, in description to this video. So if you have already this book, let's open it on page 40 and the topic of this lesson is musical speech. Um, musical speech is ability to feel the meaning of each interval and express it through intonation. So basically you know exactly what kind of feeling each interval has and then you express that feeling through intonation. Um, I want to just explain um, I'm gonna explain to you meaning of each interval and I'm gonna sing it so you could feel that meaning through my singing and I'm gonna sing descending ascending major minors intervals and you will see how hopefully you will see how it uh, gives additional color to the main feeling uh, so let's start with uh, first couple it goes by pair like second seventh then third and sixth something like this okay so let's start from <laughs> express a kind of tension feeling, a little bit painful, um, this feeling of uh, waiting, of request, of asking. So before you start singing, you tune into that uh, image and then you start singing. <clears throat> soon you can find the six <laughs> you love the six okay um fourth uh, it's 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 like energy <laughs> it's called to, to action Mm -hmm. 
and unison is um, I'm sorry are an um, open statement very confident open statement oh, 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 oh. and even on one note you can make intonation and make it with musicals. I don't know how, how but it, it works. <laughs> so this is guys what musical speech is about. <laughs> now why do you need this? Musical speech definitely brings a great meaning to your playing and it makes the melody more expressive, interesting, bold, relief and it brings um, more sense to melodic patterns and well sometimes teachers ask students to emphasize to accent some uh, some intervals to make it more expressive but you can only do this when you know the meaning of intervals so basically when you know what you need to express <laughs> and um, well, I cannot find any better way to show how musical speech actually improves your intonation, helps it be more flexible, more like human speech um, that could transfer and could let, <laughs> sorry, that could let audience um, feel the music better. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so I think the best way is just to show you uh, through singing, through some explanation, some little section of Chopin music, um, you will see how it works. Um, so the first thing that just came to my mind was just like the main theme from Ballad by Chopin. So it goes, um, I'm gonna say, I used to say two up three up, three down. It's easier for me, just like a second, seventh, first, seventh, sixth. I'm not good with my English, so just six up, seven up, and so on. Seven up, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, two up, I sing that would be statement um, diminished fifth and then unison so um, of course I'm doing this without any phrasing <laughs> But I'm just gonna show you very simple. First time I played without uh, musical speech, without any like additional meaning, just um, intonation and weight. Okay, now I need to switch. <laughs> no musical speech. Okay, back. Okay. <laughs> speech and there will be like a little tempo deviation at this in, in that.
and I'm making I'm making this without phrasing, so skip that, okay? <laughs> kind of no um, sentence, no phrasing in it, but I just want to show you how intonation becomes richer and more expressive. And Chopin is his genius uh, about intonation and musical speech things. I mean, when I discovered this musical speech thing, and I just like went through all like all these compositions. This is so incredibly genius what he's doing with all this musical speech. So uh, if you have right now something in your repertoire by Chopin, just go there and just check at least the melody, the melody pattern. Uh, very second, seventh, third, sixth. Force, um, augmented force, octave, unison, and right away you can see a greater meaning in the in the piece without even playing it. So it's a pretty cool thing. <laughs> mm, I think that's it. So let's come back to the book, and I will I guide you through silence. Yeah. So it's gonna be page forty. Forty. This lesson is going to take some time because it has many assignments in it. So first assignment, uh, you basically... Um, training, sing interval with musical speech, then sing it and play at the same time, and then play it while singing it internally. And Again, I'm not starting with second here, I'm starting with third because at least it has more distance between notes. It's easier to feel it with some meanings because second is so small. <laughs> um, it's quite hard to start with second. So let's, uh, let's read it. Sing and play ascending and descending third with intonation and musical speech. So this is assignment generally. Now we're going to this table and we see this um, right hand that starts from first finger from note C. Sing and play ascending and descending major third. Uh, for example, C, E or E, C. You sing this interval with intonation and weight first. I mean, later you can actually skip this very top task in this section how to do uh, and make it right away like sing interval with intonation musical speech. I mean, it's up to you, but first we, you might do this. So just sing it with intonation and weight. Then tune into this feeling of beauty and romance that third represents and um, sing, sing this interval with musical speech. You will feel different right away. Then you sing and play together. I don't know how it works, but I feel here in my palm, like I already pre-feel with my palm the next note that I'm gonna play uh, with this musical speech. Sounds beautiful. And the last step you play interval on with intonation and musical speech. So you don't sing, you just play. Then you start from the same C and you make minor third and you sing it first again. 
without musical speech. <clears throat> Then you tune into the beauty of romance and uh, harmony feeling and just singing. Then sing and play. Then just play and sing internally. Then you do the same from C sharp. Then from D. And I also um, I also would like you to make it from second finger and from third finger. So you make the same uh, pattern from second finger and then from third finger it's just for you to be able to feel uh, with all the muscles of this musical stage and then you do with left hand and then you do with both hands assignment two you do the same with second here you really can skip already this intonation and waiting and sing right away with musical speech. So tension, request, uh, waiting, asking. Assignment 3 you do with 4th, assignment 4 you do with augmented 4th, assignment 5 you do with 5th, <laughs> assignment 6 try to guess, and assignment 7 you do with 7. So um, the last two assignment 8 you make with octave, so octave open statement. <laughs> scrolled out to assignment nine. Important thing, this one, this is this is unison, you make with every single finger and you make it to the right and you make it to the left. That will be ascending and descending. Let me show you. And then you do to the left. So both of notes are sing to the left. And then you do with second finger. With third finger, with every single finger. In assignment 9. Assignment 10, you have a sequence of notes here. Oh yeah, so let me show you a little bit. So first again, the same steps. Um, left, right, left. And um, the last, you see the last one, the whole big sequence. So please make it, um, I'm going to show you with both hands in the last step, okay? So let's first sing and pay attention that make sure you, you feel meaning not only in ascending intervals but also descending intervals that leads to your first finger in the right hand. Uh, that will help this finger to exert better before playing a note and develop this um, 
independence. <laughs> As we all wanted to, to develop in our farm, <laughs> because he's so lazy. Okay, so let's sing first. singing and play together. I just want to show you the last step I'm playing it with um, while intonating each interval as musical speech. have this musical speech you cannot move on to the next uh, level because actually after musical speech this is like the end of the first level so next starting from phrasing will be second level that based on everything that you have acquired in the first level so make sure that every single lesson is clear be before you move to phrasing before you move to lesson number 10 uh, all right, I'm pretty tired recently, so maybe I sound a little bit boring, but it's okay, I guess. Um, I'm still happy to share with you all my knowledge. Okay, see you in the next lesson. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.